I'm the realest one that's rapping. Oh my God, oh my God, if I die, I'm a legend. When they lay me down to rest, I know I was always rapping. Oh my God, my whole life. My... All right, welcome back to the channel. Uh, in today's video, I'm going to go ahead and teach you guys how to buy and fully set up your guys' Rust console tutorial or server. My bad. I am like very tired right now. Not really too tired, but like out of it. Don't know, man. Don't mind me. Uh, this is like my third time recording this because my audio keeps messing up. But anyways, so for me, uh, I am on my PC and I have the G Portal app. All right, I sign into or create my account. If you guys don't have an account already, go ahead and create one. If you do, then you're set. You're going to go ahead and get the G Portal app on your Xbox, uh, PlayStation, or on a laptop. I suggest on a laptop. Keep everything to the laptop or whatever if you can. Uh, it's much easier. So once you're in your account, you're going to go to order. You're going to click on Rust. You're going to choose whether you want a uh, European, USA, uh, Washington, or USA Los Angeles server. And you're going to go ahead and buy it. All right. Now, once you're done with that, it will show. Well, once you know you can. All right. I'm really out of it. I'm so sorry, guys. Anyways, once it shows under my servers, that is when you can go ahead and either minimize or close this out and go to your browser. All right, in your browser, you're going to search up G Portal. Right. And you're going to go ahead, open up G Portal. I'm not going to go ahead and go through that process. But then you're going to sign into here and you're going to let me see if it'll let me do it and not lag everything out. Okay, so once you sign in, your account ID will be here. You're going to go to my servers. You're going to scroll down, find your server. I'm not actually going to change any of my settings. I'm just going to run you through it. Uh, so your name right here, that's the first thing you're going to want to change. If you want a password at server, set your password. You're going to have to give this to anybody you want to play the server. Uh, your plus, uh, your platform, you can do Xbox only, PlayStation only, or crossplay only. Uh, and then you're going to set up your welcome message, your first time join, your just joined, your left message, and rage quit, and admin message. If you want all these, if not, don't even worry about it. Don't stress it, you know what I mean? Now, this here is going to either enable or disable what admins do. So it's going to show everything on the left side of the screen. I'm sure you've seen this plenty of times on TikTok Lives or something like that. If you've watched it, uh, watched any of those of Rust console servers, it's always flowing to the side. Now, turn the switch off if you want that to be off. <clears throat> now, you can enable whitelist here by enabling that, but then you're going to have to run a command through your console. I will do a whole whitelist thing at some point, or I'll do another whitelist tutorial later on tonight along with the quick smelting and fast recycler, stuff like that. Uh, your player report cooldown, I, I'd suggest keeping it default. Uh, here, you're going to decide what map you want. All right, yeah, you can do no preset and do random, or you can choose one of these. Uh, under your map settings, is you're going to be your seed, your uh, max players, your world size, all your monuments. You can choose whether you want these on here or not you can keep them or get rid of them it doesn't matter uh disable rowboats if you don't want lag well want less lag because the more they spawn the more lag there is and the less people use them the more they spawn and it's just a whole issue rip population keep a default keep all this stuff default or if you want rowboats on just change their decay um like the deep water set that to quick uh, Robo outside decay, which I believe is on coast, set that a little lower as well. I suggest personally just turning them all off. Uh, that's what the fishing villages are for. People want a boat, go buy it. You know what I mean? Uh, stability, your radiation, and your progress progress time. Keep it. If you don't want radiation, turn this off. If you don't want stability, turn that off. Uh, your day length, set it to 60, and your night length, set it to one if you want long days and quick nights. Uh, NPC think. Keep all this stuff normal you don't mess with any of these animals the more animals and stuff that are on the server the more lag there is uh your player if you want the server where you don't take damage from literally anything turn on immortal server uh, you can turn on pve infinite ammo or full starting magazine now i suggest full starting magazine only do it for a battlefield server because what this does is when you craft a gun you get ammo in it meaning a rocket launcher will craft with a rocket in it an actual rocket, not an HB or an Ensign, a real rocket. It can be abused very fast and easily. It's not fun. Um, player max health, keep 100. Uh, I set the minimum uh, min and max starting to 100. And then my max team size on here is 4. 
Uh, if you wanted to, you could limit all this. I personally don't. It is what it is. Um, items. Don't really mess with any of this unless you want target practice or builder's paradise. Uh, you, you can turn on instant crafting and unlock all blueprints if you want. Uh, here, these say nine. I don't think nine's actually a thing. I just said it because somebody told me that it would work and I've seen a few things on it. It hasn't yet, so I don't think it's real. Uh, but just set this stuff to three unless that is true and you can get six or nine. Uh, your loot scale. Keep all that to three. Disable item damage if you don't want any of your axes guns clothing whatever taking damage uh events keep all this stuff on keep hella bullet accuracy at two and your manage scale or bullet damage skill at one uh bradley respawn delay i said at 20 minutes uh your locked crate decay 7200 and your lock crate time to unlock is 300 seconds for me on my servers uh building demolish time 600 demolish hammer if you wanted to you could enable this and then everyone can freely demolish their own buildings if it's in their tcs like theirs it has to be built by their name uh, free upgrading, free construction. I don't mess with that. Uh, keep all your damages here the same. Your decay upkeep, keep it on. Uh, upkeep, grief protection, keep it default. Decay tick, keep it default if unless you want quicker decay. Um, or code lock max failed attempts, set it to 8. And your code lock cooldown, keep it at 900 or set it to 900. Uh, now once you have all that set up, go ahead and double check you got everything correctly. And then you're going to go like this with a capital O. You're going to type in owner with a capital O and then ID, all one word, and then you're going to put your name, all right? So my name does not have a space, okay? But if it was a space here, it was, you know, four space 6994, then I would have to put, I forget what they're called, but they're the bunny ears. I will put this command in the actual description of the video. Uh, this is going to be a quick tutorial, so if I'm going fast for you guys, go ahead and pause it. I'm sorry. But yeah, uh, I got a few tutorials I got to get out tonight, so I'm going to be doing pretty quick tutorials all right so that's how you do that now once you're done with this you're good to start your server and go ahead and wait for it to pop up on the server list and go ahead and join it and then from there have fun um i'm gonna go ahead and get the other tutorials out that's gonna be it for this one if this video helped you guys at all or you enjoyed watching it or you, you might need to come back for some other tutorials go ahead and drop a, uh, a sub hit the like button or leave a comment if you need any more help uh, I do have a Discord. I will leave the uh, Discord invite link in the description as well. Go ahead and join that if you want one-on-one -on -one quicker help because I do keep an eye on that Discord 24-7. All right. So, yeah. I will see you guys in the next one. Keep an eye out for the rest of the uh, tutorials. Actually, I'm going to run you guys. forgot. <laughs> I'm going to run you guys through how to get to the tutorials real quick. I have a playlist uh, for everything. All of my channel, all of the stuff on my channel will be put into these. So right here, you're going to go to console rest tutorials is where they'll be. All right. So now I will see you guys in the next one. I hope you guys have a good rest of your day or night. Peace out.